So it's very important when you're a dancer or when you're dancing to acknowledge that you have all these different parts of your feet. And I think it's super interesting that, that feet and hands have very similar bone and nerve and muscle structure. So in theory, we wanna be able to do the same things with our feet that we could with our hands or that we can with our hands. And as part of dance training, we do a lot of work with feet. And I think it's nice to just start off with something nice and easy. So just wiggling your toes a little bit, just to get in touch with your different foot parts. Wiggling your toes. And then maybe wiggling your ankles. And what we work on a lot in dance training is, can you separate those two things and know when you're moving your ankles and when you're moving your toes? So a nice, easy thing to start off with is just to point your toes down and then to flex everything up. And point down and flex up. And point down and flex up. And point down and flex up. And then we're gonna make it a little bit Fancier. We're gonna have you point down and then just flex your toes. You see how I'm keeping my ankles long and just flexing my toes. And just this exercise is a really good way to get in better touch with your feet. put it together a little bit. So we're going to go flex everything. Point just your ankles down and then add your toes. And then reverse that. So you're going to go toes flex and ankles flex. And then ankles point down and toes point down. And toes flex up and ankles flex up. Another thing that's kind of nice to do to just feel that so that's kind of in a, in a using your feet in two separate blocks it's nice to kind of feel how that can be very smooth and how you can use your foot smoothly and one of my favorite things to do is just to slide my foot out and keep your foot on the ground as long as you can and then slide it up at a certain point you're gonna get to a point where you kind of have to pick it up but it's really nice to try to work through and feel the foot changing as you slide. And I like to do both legs. So you're gonna slide down. And if you wanted to flex, you could. And then point down, find your, find your foot, and pull up. And slide down, and flex up. And then I'm not even pointing my foot, really. I'm just going through the flex. So I'm gonna slide down, keeping my toe on the, toes on the ground as long as I can. And then when I finally get my leg down long, then I'm going to finish by flexing everything up. And then I'm going to draw back, draw my heel back, get my toes down on the ground as quick as I can. And then same thing on the other side. I'm going to slide down, keeping my toes on the ground. And you'll feel different things in your lower legs working as you do that. And then you're going to flex your foot up. And then draw back in. And then once you're done with that, you want to do a little bit of toe piano. So start with your little toes, fourth toe, third toe, second toe, big toe, and then do the opposite. So little toe, and then little toe down, and starting with the big toe coming up, and little toe down, and then draw it back in. I've tried it the other way. It's really hard the other way. I can't even do it, but I think it's worth trying. And little toe up, and then big toe down, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and then little toe. That's really hard and down, but I know if I worked on it, my body would learn how to do it, but good.
I think the big thing for most of us is just figuring out when we're moving our ankle, right, this joint right here, and do, does our whole foot move like a block or can we have our foot move in separate parts? Because having some of that flexibility is just really beautiful and it really helps connect us from our feet up through our legs into our hips and our pelvis and the rest of our bodies.